So we're pretty pleased to announce we now have support for running code on desktop SaaS from the VS Code extension. And it works by, first of all, having the extension in VS Code. The extension will talk to SaaS.js server, which is a wrapper over foundation SaaS. So just to show you the end-to-end -end process then, I'm going to go to the github.com SaaS.js server repo and just copy these commands for, for downloading the latest version of the server. Uh, I'm running Mac M1, which doesn't have SAS. I'm going to run this actually on the server. So I've done a curl to get the, the zip file. I'm now going to unzip that file. <clears throat> and that's it. It's installed. Um, next up is to do the configuration. So I've got a configuration file here ready. It's going to be launched in port 5007. Here's the location of the binary executable. This is where the files will go. It's HTTPS, uh, and here's the certificates. Um, and I've also set no X command as a SAS option. Um, okay, so then all I need to do now is run this command, and it's launched, and now it's running, in fact. So I can just go straight to um, that URL with that port. And here it is. So now that SASJS server is running, let's get the VS Code extension to use it. So all I have to do is, well, first of all, I need to download the extension. So for that, you can just search for SASJS and um, install the latest version. And once that's installed, it's just installing now, then all you have to do is run this running man and, okay, reload required. And that will first of all ask you for a target. What is a target? It's the SAS server you'll connect to. So I'll call it, I don't know, SAS123. SAS server URL is, as I just launched it before, if you're doing it locally on your desktop, it would be localhost um, with the port on the end. Okay, so uh, it doesn't have a self signed certificate, SAS GS server type, and it's running. Here's the, the log. Um, if I want to run something again, just highlight it, hit run. Um, I can now set this target as my default target, which means I won't get asked next time when I when I run it. So there we go, that ran. Uh, and now if I put something else, hit run, and there's the result. So yeah, if you'd like help setting up VS Code extension for SAS in your foundation SAS environment, uh, do pop me a comment and uh, happy to help out.